Haven't even eaten breakfast yet. 20 minute fat burning workout for total beginners. We'll see about that. <laughs> Take a 15 second rest. Oh, good. Oh, why, why is it a rest if I'm still walking? Oh, Alright, I just thought I'd give you guys a little outfit of the day action. I know I don't normally do this, but. It's been a while since y'all have kind of seen like my whole body all in one. All right, I'm, I'm so awkward, whatever. Anyway, I kind of raided my closet. Uh, this is an XXL top that I haven't been able to wear because it was too small and now it's getting kind of roomy. I hate that it shows my bat wings, but that's just a reality of life. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'm not flashing you because I feel like it's kind of see-through. These shorts are 24s and they are definitely too big. They've never really fit right. They were always kind of tight in front and way too loose in the back and they're kind of low and look when you've got a booty finding stuff that fits right is never easy but anyway i just thought i'd show you what i'm looking like these days and show you what i'm wearing because i'm such a fashionista <laughs> which means this is week 11 of the semaglutide compound and hopefully this will be the last week that I'm taking this pill. Uh, last week I reached out to the pharmacy to try and switch to an injectable but one of the things we're going to be talking about this week is that now that Munjaro or terzepatide has been released I'm going to be talking to my doctor this week about possibly switching to that drug. I have a new discount card which makes it 25 bucks a month for a full year if your insurance doesn't cover it and if your insurance does cover it then it's like a year and a half or something like that so I'm gonna see what I can see and I'm working on kind of changing around the format of my channel a little bit I'm trying to make these videos a little bit more entertaining I feel like they're I mean I, I don't understand why you guys watch them I really don't <laughs> but I mean it's awesome that you do please continue but well just let me know how you guys feel about the changing format if you're new here welcome I'm so excited to have you feel free to stick around hit the subscribe button like give me a comment let me know your thoughts feelings aspirations anyway I'm gonna be doing a lot this week uh, one of the things that I want to focus on is start adding some more some movement into my schedule for those of you who haven't been around for a long time I have arthritis in my hips tailbone and knees so exercise is really difficult for me and in the beginning my doctor told me she didn't want me doing anything except for very short walks or swimming um, but when I started that was in October and the weather was starting to get cold so swimming was not a thing we are now in triple digits here in Texas so swimming is back on the table but anyway I'm I'm not a big fan of huge cardio exercise cardio for the most part if you haven't done looked at the most recent research is really not the most effective for weight loss but the good thing about swimming is is that it's both cardio and resistance so it helps build muscle which honestly lean building lean muscle mass is the best way to promote long-term weight loss so i'll probably be looking at swimming but for me because i have arthritis movement is good for other reasons uh, not necessarily for weight loss but i'm just gonna i just need to kind of slowly build up to adding some sort of movement every day even if it's just minor i do live a very sedentary lifestyle which is partly what has contributed to my weight gain over the years I've always worked very sedentary jobs, desk jobs, call center jobs, um, things like that. And for the last year and a half, I've been studying Python. I've been learning a computer language for a career change. And then I started doing YouTube and pretty much all my time is spent editing videos. <laughs> so definitely need to work on like making a concerted effort to, sorry guys, allergies are real. I need to make a concerted effort to increase movement in my daily schedule because I definitely have not been focusing on that for sure. So you guys will be seeing me do quite a bit this week. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. I'm going to take this compound. Been crushing it up, but honestly, the last several weeks, it feels like it's doing nothing for me. Thoughts about food are back full time. I am still getting the fullness feeling but nowhere near what I was when I was on Wegovy and it's delayed like a lot. Um, I'm not a fast eater, I'm a very slow eater uh, but for whatever reason it still takes 10 to 15 minutes after I'm done eating even if it takes me 30 to 40 minutes to eat a meal 
I, it still takes that long after I'm done eating for me to register that I'm full. Whereas on the Wegovi, it literally was immediate. Like it was like, okay, I, I cannot take another bite of this food. I'm, I'm done. So that's why I'm looking at switching back to either the injection of the compound or looking at the terzepatide because it's had very good results in the trial, fewer side effects, fewer incidences of side effects and things like that. So we shall see where we end up going. I know that this channel was started as a way to look at Wegovi, but I don't think any of us could have anticipated the supply issues, um, the cost issues, all of that. I, I definitely couldn't have anticipated that. I thought I was going to have at least a year on this drug on, on Wegovi, but if you haven't seen those videos, that was, that was a very traumatic, <laughs> traumatic thing for me. Ultimately, this channel isn't about Wegovi specifically. It's about my health journey and me getting healthy and losing weight and that is going to evolve, obviously, um, because I, you know, I haven't been on the Wegovy for 11 weeks now. So I'm going to get this compound took. I crush it up. I put it under my tongue with some water. I let it soak, dissolve, do whatever for five minutes, and then I swish it around and swallow it. So it has to be done that way for the drug to actually absorb directly into your bloodstream through the bottom of your tongue. I'm not sure if you knew that, but that, that's a thing that happens. And so I am going to get that done. I hope you're having a good day. I'll be seeing you soon. It's my daily. Hey, look, I have clothes on my body. Check in. Anyway, so these are my torrid shorts. They are way too big. Pretty much the story of everything in the closet these days, except for the few things I bought since I've lost weight. I got this shirt a million years ago from... TJ Maxx, I want to say. These are kind of my favorite kind of shirts. I like long. I want them to be long so they cover my parts. The shark bite ones, shark bite. Ooh. And that's it. Just going away today. Hey, buddy. You want to go for a walk? You want to go for a walk? No? <laughs> JJ, go for a boy. You're waiting for mama to open the door. Okay. So this is day two of trying to get a little bit of movement in every day. I had originally planned on trying to go swimming today, but my husband ended up having a short day, so he's gonna be home from work early. And I would really like to get to spend some time with him because that's a rarity for us during the week. I mean, we get time together on the weekend, but during the week, it's not uncommon for him to have 12 to 16 hour days. So when he has a short day, we try to take advantage of it. Anyway, Helios is very excited about the fact that we're taking a walk. Just gonna kinda get some walking in, enjoy the sunshine while it's still not blistering hot. I mean, it's 10.30 in the morning and already over 80 degrees, but it's not triple digits. <laughs> to have a telehealth consult with my doctor to talk to her about switching to Manjaro or Terzepatai. So fingers crossed that she's open to that because I would be really sad if that didn't work out. <laughs> anyway, that's the hope because the discount card would make that only 25 bucks a month for me. So we'll see how it goes. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Doing good. So you were interested in a different type of medication? Yeah, well, it's the same type of medication. So Wegovy was the GLP-1 receptor agonist, and it just got FDA approval. So it's still a GLP-1 receptor agonist, but it also is a GIP receptor agonist. So it's kind of like a dual. And in trials, it was quite a bit more effective than Wegovy, and it had fewer incidences of side effects. The reason I'm interested in switching to it is just like when Wegovy came out, they had a $25 discount card. And terzepatide also has that $25 discard now, discount card now. Unlike the Wegovy where it was only six months, this is a full year. So it would give me enough to lose almost all of the weight that I have left to lose. I mean, even though you're not losing as fast as you were with mm -hmm. Wegovy, yeah. you still are doing way better. So. I know that it's brand new, but I feel like because I've already been on the GLP-1 for 
it's been 32 weeks, you know, 35 weeks now or something like that. Mm -hmm. I feel good about it. So yeah. I was just, I didn't know if you, if you thought that that would be a good idea or what. Yeah. I mean, we can try it out. Um, my only concern is, um, I'm wondering if like you aren't, if you are not diagnosed with diabetes or something, if like you would still qualify. I'm part of a bunch of different support groups, which is mm -hmm. how I learned what I learned about the drug. And there are a bunch of people that are not diabetic that the doctors are just prescribing it off-label for weight loss, just like they do Ozempic. So they released Munjaro, which is the diabetic medication. And just like Ozempic released Wigovi, which was the weight loss medication, but it's the exact same drug. They're planning on doing the same thing for marketing purposes, but it's the, it's the exact same drug. So basically there are people that are already having their doctors prescribe it off-label for weight loss because they yeah. know based on the trials that it was effective for weight loss. We can try it without the diabetic thing. Uh -huh. um, and then if you have problems, give me a, you know, give us that information. Okay. That Okay. So I know that, that Munjara will fill the prescription okay. regardless, but if my insurance declines it, then I still get it for $25 a month and I'm not worried about okay. it. That's what so I was worried about. yeah, if I was concerned about the insurance part paying for it, then yes, that would be a concern for sure. But because yeah. I know that the discount card picks it up, even if my insurance says no dice, um, that's kind of the thing. That's the whole reason that I'm kind of even interested in pursuing it, I guess. Okay. Okay. But. Well, it looks like you start at 2.5 milligrams. Mm -hmm. uh, <clears throat> weekly for okay. four weeks okay. and then you go up to five milligrams weekly. Okay. I guess at that point we can kind of check in and see how you're doing okay. um, with the current dosage and right. see if you feel like we need to increase it or okay. what, you know, because the max dose is 15. Yeah, so that's the maintenance dose. Five is kind of the, what, what they want to get you up to. I will go ahead and get this sent and then I would say follow up in two months or so. That okay. way we can see. Um, okay. If I can get it before Monday, I'll probably start it on Monday. Um, so I guess maybe like six weeks from then we can follow up because then if you're only prescribing the first two strengths, then I would need to talk to you so you could prescribe the third right, one right, right. If, if that's what we need to do. Yeah. Okay. You can just check in and make sure you're doing okay. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and make sure, you know, see if you feel like that dosage is doing you good or if you want to continue going up. Yeah, we'll see you back in six weeks or so. Okay, thanks. Right. Well, that went well. I expected that it would go that way. When I met with her before, she was all for doing whatever it was that I wanted to try. She was just like, whatever you think is going to work for you, you know, you know your body the best. And I mean, this time was no different. It was, I mean, you, you heard that she just was like, yeah, let's, let's try it. Let's see how it goes. So I guess I'm good to go for my first two months of terzepatide. Ah. <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited. I guess we're on a new journey again. <laughs> Third time's a charm, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> it is Wednesday now, so I'm hoping that that's going to be enough time for them to get me the prescription at my Walmart pharmacy so that I can pick it up and start it next Monday. Let's see how this goes. Hey guys. I'm on my way to go hang out with Nikki and my friend Olivia. And I was supposed to leave like an hour ago and I was working on a video edit and then a community post but anyway I was working on stuff and I got sidetracked and I looked down and realized that it was like almost 12 30 and I still wasn't hungry and I'm like really some glutide you've waited like you, you've been not working properly for weeks and now all of a sudden I hadn't been thinking about food nothing but I had kind of a realization slash discovery slash epiphany of if you will lightning has just struck my brain uh anyway hook anybody no okay i realized that like as i've been more active this week and i've been working on more stuff like i've been recording a lot more this week and i've been doing like several things like i've been taking a videography course on skillshare hashtag non spons <laughs> but hit me up <laughs> anyway i've been really busy and then with all the extra activity with like walking and stuff like that, I had wanted to go swimming today, but our apartment complex, the pool has been closed for quite some time and it's still not reopened. Of course, we're in triple digits now. Why would we want a pool to be open? I think that this compound is more effective when you're more active. That could just be psychological. I don't know, but I will say that on the Wegovi, it didn't matter how active or inactive I was. It seemed to work the same. So. Who knows if that's fake news or real facts, 
It could even just be that the pill that I took this Monday was pressed better or whatever. I don't know. But now it's an hour later. I packed my lunch so that I could have food to take with me. And now I'm starting to get hungry. So it's just weird that it's been that, like, I've been having so much, so many issues with just thinking about food constantly and all that. And now all of a sudden, when I finally decided to move on and try something else that seems to be working better, I don't know. It's not going to change my mind. Like, I'm, I'm definitely going to be, you know, doing the Mujaro. Um, hopefully by next week. <laughs> I'm going to go hang out with my bestie and my baby. Oh, he's a good head boop. He love your mama. Good morning, everybody. <laughs> Haven't even eaten breakfast yet. Because <laughs> there's no way I'm gonna exercise with food in my stomach. So I ordered some mats for my floor. They're supposed to get here tomorrow. So I'm trying to find like a low to no impact beginner exercise type thing on YouTube. <laughs> that I can follow so I have no idea how much of this I'm gonna be able to do but we're gonna give it a shot and see how it goes the one I found is this by mad fit 20 minute fat burning workout for total beginners we'll see about that <laughs> I don't have cute workout gear this is all stuff that I've had for like a million years well except for these I bought these a couple months ago they're from Walmart and they're it's weird because like on my lower calves, they feel tight, but up in the stomach and through the hips, they feel like they could be tighter, but because of the print, like you can see, like you can't see through them, but like, it's like there's cracks in the print. Look, I don't even know how much this I'm gonna show. So we're just, we're just gonna do it. All right, mad fit, don't kill me. I just realized something, I need water. For those of you that are new to my channel, this is my water bottle. I fill it up every night before bed and I put it in the fridge because I like to drink my water super cold. Drinking cold water actually helps you burn calories if you didn't know. Um, and this just has little time stamps on it, kind of helps like, keep me on track. Most days I drink more water than this. If I fill it all the way to the top, it's a gallon. If I fill it to the 8 a.m., it's 90 ounces. So my goal is a minimum of 90 ounces every day, but I do try to get up to a gallon. Drink cold water, it's good for you. Uh -huh. Yes, by the app, feel the difference. I don't care. Hey guys, so we're focusing on keeping the core tight. Bring the knees up to the Next up, we're going to warm up those hamstrings and we're going to kick our bum. So, step across and just kick your bum. Sure, I'm kicking my bum. Okay, what does it say that my legs are already on fire? It looks like I'm doing the slow motion version of her exercise. I just want to let you know. Take a 15 second rest. Oh, good. We're going to keep this an active rest. Oh, so why, why is it a rest if I'm still walking? Need to go as fast as me. Oh, we ain't even five minutes in, y'all. I'm tired. Think about crunching here. Think about your core. I'm just thinking about not dying, lady. She started doing floor exercises and without a mat. I know I will kill myself, but also, and my heart rate is pretty high. So we're calling it for my first. Look, anything is better than nothing, okay? <sighs> so I just got off the phone with Walmart Pharmacy and I talked to the manager there because she and I at this point have a relationship after all of the We Go V drama. So she told me that my insurance was requiring the prior authorization. I was like, no problem, I got a coupon for that. And so she entered the coupon information, sent it through, and it got approved for the 25 bucks. So there's been a lot of speculation about the fine print on the coupon. You know, it says all you have to have is commercial insurance. Either it covers and you get a discount off of what your copay is up to a certain amount and down to as low as 25 bucks. Um, or if your insurance does not cover it, and that includes if it requires a prior authorization, then they will do a straight $25. Now the caveat is, 
if your insurance does cover it and you're getting the discount, it covers up to 24 refills and a refill is a four week supply. If your insurance does not cover it and you're just paying the straight 25, then it only covers 12 refills. The expiration without insurance coverage is a year. The expiration with insurance coverage is a year and a half. You can fill up to a three month prescription with the insurance coverage one. So if your insurance covers it and you're using the discount, you can cover up to three months at a time. So I'm assuming you'd be able to get 24 refills in a year and a half period of time if you were doing three months at a time. I don't know. All I know is she said that it should be in later today or at the latest tomorrow. So that means next week we be starting Munjaro slash Terzepatide or however the heck you say either of those things. And I couldn't be more excited. Are you excited? I'm excited. Are you excited? <laughs> Ooh. Oh, skeletons are coming out. All right, if you've been around my channel for any length of time at all, you may have caught glimpses of my shame. This used to be our old entertainment center, and then we bought that monstrosity because I love my husband, and it's too big. It overhangs the edges of the thing by like this, and when you spend the money on a 70-inch TV, you don't want it teetering. So we already have those IKEA things, and when we put them both together, it was just the right size. And so now this has just been sitting here. The irony, I don't even know if that's the proper definition of irony, but whatever. Almost all of this is stuff that I bought for organization. <laughs> and uh, it's just been sitting here gathering dust and things. So Nikki and Tanner want to buy this because they need it for their upstairs game room. And that's awesome because it means it's going to get it out of here. And I've been telling them for a week that I was going to clear it off, but she didn't know when they were going to come and get it. So finally this morning I told her, look, I'm going to keep procrastinating until I know that you guys are coming to get it. So I need to know a date when you guys think you can come and pick it up. And then she called me and she was like, how about tomorrow? I was like, I did this to me. So we are going to get this thing cleaned off. And for now, unfortunately, that means just kind of relocating a lot of the clutter to my living room because I need to get something else with storage to implement a lot of this. The storage situation in my kitchen is atrocious. Like my kitchen is a cave. It's I, I, yeah. Anyway, I want to get a dining room table because I would like to start filming my cooking content there. Anyway, I just figured I would bring you along with me as motivation to get this thing cleaned off and hopefully it won't take too long. Let's do this. You and me will be all right. I still need to clean up, like I need to set my vacuum clean all this over here, but everything is out and off of it. I can see better what I need to find homes for. Thing is that most of that is stuff that I'll be able to use to organize things. But I need to now shop for a bookcase for right here that will house our games and a few other things. And then I also need a dining room table. And then ultimately the plan is to relocate this against that wall and build shelving on top of it that I can use for extra kitchen storage. Those are the hopes, dreams, and aspirations. We will see. We will see. Thanks for helping motivate you guys. I feel like I just got hit with a ton of bricks. I've had so much energy all day and then all of a sudden, this is all I can do to keep my eyes open. I don't know if it was all the exercise, if it was all the activity this morning with working on the that thing over there, the entertainment center. <laughs> I did a lot today. There was a lot, a lot going on, and man, am I tired. I'm about to get up and fold some laundry, and hopefully that'll wake me up. Hey guys, I just did my way in. And I gained 0 0.2 pounds. Um, I would be lying if I didn't say that I am extremely disappointed in that. Is it hard after, you know, making the decision to become more active and make sure I'm having movement every day to see the number on the scale go up? No, that's not, <laughs> not the way I saw things going down when I woke up this morning. 
I will say that if the body fat percentage portion of my scale is to be believed that I supposedly lost almost two pounds of body fat. So I'm going to choose to believe that that's accurate because it will help my mental health. <laughs> but yeah, I'm feeling even more settled in my decision to move to the Manjaro. Is it entirely possible that I've just reached a point in my weight loss journey where I've my body is stalling? Sure. But it is just entirely too much of a coincidence that all of my struggles with the weight not going down as much started at the exact same time that I started the compound. I'm going to do my best to distract myself today to be in a good mental health place. I know that regardless of what the numbers on the scale are doing, that I'm making good choices for my body, that I'm making good choices for my health. My muscles are screaming that at me today <laughs> after that workout that I did yesterday, which, I mean, says everything about the state of my, I guess, fitness health. <laughs> because, I mean, I was exercising for less than 10 minutes and just about every muscle in my body is not necessarily screaming at me, but giving me a stern talking to this morning. So I'm just gonna keep doing the good things. I'm gonna keep fighting the fight. <laughs> and I know that eventually the weight will continue to come off. I'm not gonna lie. After my weigh-in this morning, the last thing I wanted to do was go for a walk. But we are continuing. We are not giving up. We are realizing that I need to practice what I preach when I tell people there are things other than outside of your control that affect how much you weigh, <laughs> that affect that number on the scale. And it is much easier said than done. I recognize that. Like, I'm not, this isn't a new revelation to me. I've always known it was easier to say than to put into practice. <laughs> but this is me practicing what I preach. I'm gonna keep going regardless of what the number on the scale says because it's what's healthy for my body and because it's what's going to help me achieve my goals. I know that if I stop, I will definitely never hit my goals. <laughs> so we're gonna just keep on keeping on. Look at this beautiful morning. We'll ignore the fact that it's already almost 90 degrees out with no breeze. <laughs> Well, that silhouette's a lot smaller than it used to be. <laughs> Buddy, you're not helping. Well, that was a, big of a, a bit of a reality check. I, um, we're here at the park. My husband's doing nerd stick fighting. And, um, I decided to take Helios for a walk down to the river. We could see the river from where our pavilion was, so we thought that the river access would be right there. Helios loves to swim, so I was like, oh, we'll just take him down so he can jump in the water. It's really hot out. And the, it turned out there was like a three foot drop to the water. So, I mean, he could jump in, but then how am I gonna get him out? So one of the ladies we were with was like, well, there's a bunch of like cold springs like all along this river. So if we just walk down this way, I'm sure they'll be one just like not that far down here. Well, not that far down here ended up being like a half mile down river which I mean a half mile which ends up being like a mile round trip right it's really not that far but when it's over 98 degrees with quite a bit of humidity and I didn't bring water with me so we got down there Helios jumped in we got a little bit of a rest it was in the shade and, and all of that which was great but then I had to walk back and all of a sudden the breeze stopped and there weren't as many trees because we kind of made like a beeline for back to where our pavilion was and I got really overheated and like started getting dizzy and feeling like I was going to pass out, but I did it. I don't have any hip pain. I don't have any knee pain and I'm still alive. I mean, I'm hot, but I'm still alive. So anyway, I forgot to take my phone with me, so I didn't get any footage while we were on the walk, but a friend took a video of Helios jumping in the water, so I'll show you guys that, but, um, just, it's a good day. No 
bottom. No bottom. Hello. <laughs> oh, buddy, go up the steps, you weirdo. <laughs> That's really it for this week. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, guys. Bye.